What a great way to start our day and get our minds ready for Birdfest and Bluegrass 2020. We want to extend a special thank you to Cindy McCormick from Vancouver Audubon for tuning in and giving us some extra crane facts as well as some information about the birds she may have heard during this video. So hi, I'm, it's an honor to be here today to bless this house. This house has a soul. This house is a dear friend of our Chinook Nation. Um, this house was made from living trees. And so it's been suffering. It's been suffering without people being here, without the contact of people this year. And not only is the house suffering, but I know other people are suffering, not being able to gather and visit and laugh with each other. We miss that. And I, I miss coming down to the plank house and talking to people about uh, Chinook. And I would really like to uh, uh, start today with a blessing. I want to bless, you know, ask the creator, the Sakali Tai, the chief above, ask him that he looks down on, on not only the Chinook people, but all the Chinook friends, the friends of Chinook people, the friends of this plank house. And uh, just be with our hearts as we, as we go through, you know, the struggles with the pandemic and the struggles with fires and everything else that it brings to people, the isolation that they're going through. We know how that is. Chinook people, you know, we know very well what pandemics were because we lost over 95% of our population. And so today, uh, not only do I want to bring a blessing down for the house and the people here today, but I also want to make sure I honor the the Ankiti Tilikum or the people from the past. So, I am Masi. Oh, oh, oh. While well, Birdfest in Bluegrass began as a way for the refuge to create outreach into the community, it has since become the annual celebration of the migratory return of the Sandhill Crane to our area. Up next, we have an amazing video montage created by the Festival for Urban Refuge Day that features many of the lovely people who make this festival possible. Hi everyone, Mayor Don here at another gorgeous day in Ridgefield. You know, I am so thankful that Ridgefield offers a huge variety of parks and a great trail system for all of our visitors and citizens to spend time on. I'm also grateful and a huge shout out to the Friends of the Ridgefield National Wildlife Refuge. Every year they put on a great bird fest, which is coming just around the corner. So have a great bird fest. 
Welcome to Ridgefield and enjoy yourself. Thank you so much. See you soon. Ridgefield Complex is my new home. Coming from the Southwest, I'm so excited that the trees here are so big. Ridgefield is my home because it's such a cute small town and almost everyone's friendly and it's a really comfortable place to live. The refuge is home to us because we've both grown up there. Why do you like the refuge? <laughs> I live in the city and sometimes feel like I just need to escape and the refuge is that place for me. If I just imagine it's my backyard being expanded and that's why it's home to me. Greetings, I'm Tana Ingdahl, proud member of the Ridgefield National Wildlife Refuge. Please join us in this celebration of heritage, community, nature, and the beautiful stories that have made our home a refuge for wildlife and people. We are so grateful for the opportunity to bring to the comfort of your home the spirit that has made our event a staple in our community. Welcome to Birdfest and Bluegrass 2020, Home Edition. Wasn't that a beautiful homage? I'm Samantha Designer, Administrative Coordinator for the Friends of Ridgefield National Wildlife Refuge, and I'm excited to be your virtual MC for the day. Whether you're a birder, a bluegrass fan, or a family looking for some wholesome virtual fun, we have everything that you could be looking for. Before we go any further, don't forget that you can pick up craft supplies at the City of Ridgefield's offices starting at 10 a.m. today and while supplies last. Now, I'd like to briefly acknowledge some of the people who have made both this year's festival as well as festivals in the past possible. To those members of the community who just viewed our video, Ken Pitts with the Columbia Gorge Refuge Stewards, Cindy McCormick with Vancouver Audubon, Ashley Conley with the City of Vancouver, Maureen O'Reilly and Patricia Thompson with the Ridgefield Art Association, Gerardo Calderon, Port of Ridgefield, the Chinook Indian Nation, Aylan A and the Cowlitz Indian Tribe, Portland Audubon, Saturday Market and the Birders Marketplace vendors, Pacific Northwest Best Fish Company, the Water Resource Education Center, Portland Rewild, the Salmon Bake Cooking Crew from years past, which includes Greg Robinson, Greg Archuleta, and Devin Robinson, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and all of the Ridgefield Refuge staff who work so tirelessly to support this festival, as well as the friends, the volunteers who help the friends and the refuge, and the amazing staff who work at the city of Ridgefield, as well as its residents and those who visit the refuge and support it. With a huge thank you to Valadrian Creative and Maurizio Valadrian, who helped us create and put these videos together for Birdfest and Bluegrass 2020. Up next, we have Ken Pitts with the Columbia Gorge Refuge Stewards who can give us some tips and tricks on birding photography. Whether you're just getting started or a seasoned photographer, we're sure that he can give you some ideas to up your skill and your game. <laughs> 